Did you know that you have cannabis receptors in your body, in your cells, in your DNA? Chalk that up to one more thing your government never wanted you to know. Not only is cannabis friendly to your metabolism, THC, the most biologically potent component of cannabis, is actually manufactured by your own body. And your cannabinoid receptors are stimulated by a lot of other foods as well. So if cannabis plants are bad for you, so are things like carrots, broccoli, citrus fruit, mustard, and chocolate. Classifying cannabis as a dangerous substance was one of the most blatant and bold frauds ever perpetrated on society. Cannabis, when used properly, is as boring as any other vegetable and as necessary to your health. Cannabis is packed with essential nutrients and healing properties when it is fresh and not heated, dried, or aged. When cannabis is fresh from the plant, it is not a narcotic. It does not make you high. Your body's cannabis receptors are looking for the fresh, raw, unprocessed plant. Having cannabis receptors in our DNA means that we must have used cannabis as a nutrient for most of our human evolution. The cannabis receptors in our cells mean four things. Our body recognizes cannabis, uses it, needs it, and our health is better when we get it. Otherwise, those receptors would not be there. I'm not talking about the heated, smoked, aged, or dried cannabis that makes you high. We need the fresh plant, like in a salad or juiced. It's a nutrient, one of the best that you can put in your body. Cannabis is one of the most powerful nutrients and healers on the face of the planet, and you were not supposed to find that out. The fact that we all have cannabis receptors in our DNA means that cannabis may have been a staple of the human diet for millions of years as an essential nutrient and food source. Research shows that cannabis provides an astonishing number of medical benefits. So much so that you may not be in peak health unless you consume some of it from time to time. We have been seriously lied to. And that lie has caused major damage to millions of people for two or three generations now. The demonization of cannabis correlates with the early promotion of pharmaceutical industries, where wealthy investors in drug companies needed legislation to discourage competition from inexpensive natural therapies. This is certainly not the only time that commercial interests have bought legislation to benefit some industry at the expense of the public. Have you ever wondered why cannabis was prohibited when it was far less harmful even when smoked than alcohol and prescription drugs? We've been so thoroughly misinformed that a powerful healing plant was made out to be a killer drug, and most people who are alive today cannot even remember a time when we were not lied to about cannabis by our government, our schools, our police, and even our friends who make the mistake of trusting what their government tells them. If they had not put cannabis out of our reach, we would be curing ourselves without their toxic drugs, their overpriced health care programs, and their legal harassment of absolutely harmless use of an amazing plant. Your corrupt government even went to the trouble to classify cannabis as a dangerous substance with no therapeutic value when they knew it was one of the most vital and powerful nutrients available to mankind. Trusting people who call themselves authorities is a fool's game. Cannabis kills cancer, stops seizures, rebuilds immune systems, and restores health to all of the 120 different kinds of cells in our bodies. Cannabis performs multiple healing functions at the cellular level, which is where everything that matters in your body takes place. The medical industry calls the healing components of cannabis CBDs. They know about this, but they would rather sell you drugs. Again, the benefits of cannabis are primarily in the fresh, unheated form when it has little THC and does not make you high. Eating or juicing a few ounces of raw, fresh cannabis every day will do more for your general health than any drug or vitamin pill that money can buy. Cannabis is a major threat to the prescription drug industry, which, by the way, kills 100,000 people in the USA every year with side effects, overdoses, and toxic reactions caused by those prescription medications. Cannabis kills no one. 
even when it is used as a recreational drug, compared to alcohol, which again kills and sickens hundreds of thousands of people every year from addiction, liver failure, and a host of other pathologies. The rediscovery of the benefits of cannabis is a big story, but the bigger story is how we have been deliberately betrayed by our authorities, pundits, and quacks who promulgated the phony killer weed scam upon society. The world is not what your government tells you it is. The world is not what media, schools, the police, and politicians tell you it is. They hide things. They lie to you. The official war against cannabis is crumbling and has been for some years. 23 states have legalized cannabis in one way or another. Research has started to be taken seriously, and law enforcement has started to focus on more truly serious drug problems like methamphetamine, crack cocaine, and heroin. If you think that cannabis is bad for you, you have been missing some extremely important information, and you may want to start exploring alternative views. Here are some websites where you can find out more about nutritional cannabis. These links are also in the information box below this video on YouTube.